Hello kids or students in general. Are you ready for some math? Yes, don't worry, we're not gonna go uh, and talk about uh, complicated or complex math because I'm not good at math. That's why I'm an English teacher, right? So I'm just here to explain uh, why we use these guys here in the names of the processes, right? Like here we have plus the name of the simple, right? Plus, or in some cases more, but when we use, we are talking about math, we say plus, okay? So for example, five plus two equals to seven, right? But anyway, so this is used for addition. Addition, there you go, okay? So like the name says, used to add, to increase. Very good. Now, the other one, this one is called minus, okay? In math, we call it minus, like five minus two, we have three, right? Equals to three. Very good. So it is used for subtraction. And like the name says again, it is used to subtract decrease instead of increase, decrease, subtract, take from. Nice. Next one, multiplication. Multiplication, that's a big one. All right, multiplication, very good, right? And like the name says, it is used to multiply. Instead of I, we put Y, multiply with Y at the end. And the name of this little fella here is times, okay? Times. So when we're talking about math, it is two times two, and then we have four, right? So times something, okay? And you might remember now, like, I say that, like, I've been there two times. Does that mean that, yes, it is the same thing, right? Nice. Okay, so. It is used to multiply. Here we have division. Division. And like the name implies, it is used to divide. Divide something. Okay, to split. So this one is a little bit different. It is division. There is no name for this symbol. You just say, instead of saying plus something, minus something, times something, you say divided. Divided by, okay? So 49 divided by seven is seven. Before we go into this uh, math problem here, let's talk about the other ones. So here we have equal, the equal sign. So you can say something is equal to or just equals to. Okay, next we have greater than, greater than, okay? It is used like this and it implies comparison, but we are comparing something. Eight is greater than four, for example. And here we have the opposite, less than. Nice, are you following me? Okay, so let's do the math now. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, first of all, you multiply, okay? So let's do this. Four times two. Four times two. Let me do this first. That's the way I used to do it back in school. We have eight. All right. So next, divided by four, we have two. Divided by four, we have Two. Okay, so let's see this one now. Eight minus three, or you can say take away three, because you're subtracting, right? So eight minus three, we have five. Now we have this plus here, we have to do the sum. Remember, sum, okay, to add the addition, okay? So we have here five plus two, we have seven at the end. Very good. So this is it. 
That's all for today. Thank you so much, guys, and study math, but don't forget to study English as well. Bye-bye.